What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing or startup or crashing startup issue you're currently having uh, with Ready or Not. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that, that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you will support my work in YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to open up your task manager by just simply navigating down to your taskbar and opening it up by using your shortcut. So you're gonna right click your taskbar, open up your task manager. Once this one pops up, navigate to the top left corner, click onto processes. And uh, afterwards, I want you to just click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one, and type in R in order to find ready or not. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, just simply right click and end the task. The next step is going to be to end your task manager. And what I want you to do is going to be to take your Steam shortcut or your ready or not shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it on your desktop, just simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen and use the Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, simply, some, just simply drag it right onto your desktop. Afterwards, right click it and click on to run as an administrator. Once you click that, your, prob your game will probably pop up. And if it crashes again, the next step will pop probably fix it. You just right click it, go to the very bottom where it says properties, click on the compatibility and enable run this program in compatibility, <laughs> compatibility mode for you. Select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations and, and as well as enable run this program as an administrator. Afterwards, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend you to restart your PC afterwards. And once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your uh, shortcut. Afterwards, I want you to double click it. So simply sort it and launch your game over the launcher. This will probably fix your issue. That's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of, with this one, guys. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And I'm going to thank you for that. I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.